In Australia, about 98% of us use our curbside recycling and we're really good at it. It's a great habit. But there's this whole idea of contamination. What about your meat tray? People are always asking me, can I recycle these? And look, it depends. They're actually made of lots of different types of plastics and it's really hard to know whether this can or can't be recycled. We need a lot clearer system so we actually know what we can and can't recycle. Otherwise, how can we clean up these contamination rates? I know that Planet Ark shares my frustration and they've been working with packaging organisations to come up with what they hope will be a standard recycling label. But will it work? All of these mince trays from different supermarkets. Yeah. And the question is, do these actually get recycled? Can they be recycled? Can you actually tell? It's not easy. Uh, you know, the ones I pick out, I've got labels on. So that one's got the Australasian recycling label. I think there's another green one with the Australasian recycling label. Yeah, yeah. that's got a label. Yeah. So, so yeah. I've got two there. We know those can be recycled. This is an interesting one. It's black. So if that's carbon black, the vision systems in the recycling facility won't be able to see that and I'll just continue on through. So just because it's the colour is black, it won't, definitely won't be recycled. Yeah, so it, black doesn't reflect and it's carbon black I'm assuming and therefore that'll just continue and won't go into the... It's interesting, this is a certified organic and free range thing. You'd think they'd be wanting to get a recyclable yeah. one there. I've got to say, it's great to actually see this on a packet. It's tiny. Like if, if we're going to get people to recycle properly, I think it needs to be a bigger part of it. I, th I think that's one of the bits of feedback we're going to have to take away from this is that, yep, it's hard to see mm. um, and we could probably do with a, a larger size on some of these. So at, at the end of this, like looking at all of these different meat trays, only two of them we actually know can be recycled yep. and seven of them have no idea. There's nothing to, for me to know that that's recyclable. It's just, it, this is why I think it has to be compulsory because otherwise you're going to be either doing the wrong thing with something that should be chucked away, or you're going to be throwing away stuff that can be recycled. Exactly. Well, I almost regret looking into meat trays, and that's not just because of the bolognese I had to eat. I mean, look at this. This is one bit of packaging we find in our supermarkets, and this much confusion came out of it, even from the experts. Now, this idea of having a label on it that clearly tells people what can and can't be recycled is great. But it can't just be up to industry to choose. Oh, occasionally I'll put it on or choose not to put it on. It needs to be compulsory. You need to be able to actually say, hey, this can be recycled and here's how to do it. So in the meantime, when you go shopping, look for these symbols that indicate whether the packaging is recyclable or not. And if you think supermarkets or brands could be doing better about this and other packaging, why don't you let them know about it on social media?